A number of pupils of public schools around Kampala reported for the first day of school only to find no teachers in class. The teachers made good their threat to lay down their tools to protest against the government's failure to fulfill a promise of increasing their salaries by 10%. In 2013, the government assured teachers that it would increase their salaries after they staged an eight-day strike. Only a handful of pupils turned up. Deborah Namianja is one of the parents who was astonished upon learning of the industrial action when she arrived with her child. In some schools, the classes were full, but there were no teachers. Other classes were under lock and key. The teachers who managed to turn up did not enter class. We have received the children, and the children are in the class, though the teachers are not there. So some parents who are opt to take their children back are taking back their children as we wait for further communication. They are engaging themselves on their own activities. Uh, some maybe they could be revising on their own. Uh, some of them could be just seated idle. We can't tell exactly what they are doing because since we are not in the class, we can't tell. A number of people who declined to speak on camera told NTV that they saw plain cloth security operatives milling around their school compound. The pupils were clearly unhappy about the strike staged by their teachers. The teachers have annoyed me today because they haven't, they didn't come to learn. The children have 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 come to study and then the teachers are not there. I expected to come this term to study at the very beginning, at the very beginning of the term, but it's not what I've seen. Right now, I'm at Mango Primary School, but as you can see, the pupils are completely doing nothing. Some are even drinking something, others are this side just playing. This is because the teachers are not present to teach, and they are only waiting for one thing, the outcome of the meeting between government and their umbrella body, UNATO. In a meeting with the Prime Minister, Dr. Wakana Rugunda, the teachers were urged to go back to class as the government sorts out the matter. Let work go on, let schools continue to run. Uh, we have absolutely no problem with us in the government interacting with teachers. But the teachers had this to say about the government's position. It's very difficult to believe that tomorrow or next year the money will be there. I don't think teachers will be patient further than that. Another issue of contention is the move by the Ministry of Education to handpick the microfinance support centre to manage their savings and cooperative societies funds worth 6.8 billion. The fund is part of the 25 billion shillings earmarked by the government for the teachers' savings groups. Solomon Kawesa, NTV.